Hey, what's happening everybody? Welcome back to the channel, you know, for this short video about the update of what we're going to be doing. Uh, I made a short video earlier on, you know, I got a more guide, you know, water yesterday. I just got it out from the, the shop this morning. So I made a video of that short video today just to update about what happened. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take you all, just go through a small video about what I'm going to be doing to get this more guard fixed and get a scooter working. So yesterday, uh, I took the more guard off and I made a video of what happened after the first welding and the more guard still goes. So today, um, and this, and I'm going to say one thing, y'all keep asking me questions about what you, these scooters are made with most of the parts are just like alarm keys. So most of the things you're going to be taking out, they all alarm keys. So you don't really need all this. All you got to need is just alarm key, which I usually have in my back, uh, my riding bag. Let me just go show you all what I'm saying. So that way, you know what to get when you're riding these scooters. So just open the back. So in my body, is all I got in my bag right here. It's all alarm key. And this key, you got different, different, you know, keys for different, different, you know, both or what you want to do. For instance, when you lose this one, you have something like this, you have other ones and all that. So that's all you need. You don't need that. But if you have this, it made the job very easy. You know what I'm saying? Because this got like, you know, proper screwing, tall screws. So you got more torque, you know, to use too much energy, you know, screwing and unscrewing, all that. So, uh, what happened yesterday, if you all remember, about the Margot, you know, being split in two places. Uh, what I realized when I took it to the garage for the guy to word it up, uh, it looked more like, you know, if you have a look, or in my other video I just posted this morning, if you have a look proper, this Margot, when it initially broke, the Margot, you know, breaks somewhere here, not here, and somewhere here. So what we did was just to prevent the mortgage breaking any further. We put a uh, a tin plate about five millimeter thick right all the way through the mortgage. So that way, but we say that the mortgage, you know, got um, stability, you know, installing it. We don't just want the part that got broken, otherwise another part might go broken just like this, just like that. So we kind of like, you know, put a template all the way bending around and in the wall up. But what we did was, uh, this time around, if you turn this over, if you know where it is, if we turn it over, the mall guard actually, you know, that's the break point of the mall guard now. Just there, that line right there. So what happened is, uh, the mall guard actually broke on this side where it was initially tacked, so where this plate was put back, back in the first welding, it was water tack on this side, so the more guard broke exactly on that tack area. So because of that, when we keep riding this and the vibration and all this keep going up and down, it kind of made a more guard broke exactly where it been tacked in the first part when it did a welding. So what I'm gonna suggest is if you have your more guard broken for any reason, because this will get broken depending on how you use your scooter. If you use it every day, like the way I use my I got more than a thousand five hundred miles on this scooter already. So if you use that every day, that's a probably that you're gonna be getting your mortgage damage. And if the old mortgage got damaged like the way it is, if you watch my my other video about the mortgage, it's advice when you take to the, the warding shop, if you're gonna be repairing it, make sure that the plate is put all the way right to this point. Don't put it over, because obviously you want this side to flush with your decking when you're going to be facing it back. So you don't want any welding on this side. But you have to make sure that the, 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 the plate is bent from this side, right to that side, go up to that side. And instead of tacking it where we tack it initially, and then it broke us out the way it's been tacked, because uh, from the, the hot fire going right there, it kind of weakened uh, the material. So the material just broke exactly on the same plate as been tied. So instead of that, just make sure that the material or whatever plate you're using goes all the way right to this corner. This corner right here is the joint between this memory and this memory. So it's very tough for something to break exactly on this line. So this point here is a resistant point of these two, you know, memory, whatever force is going through that. So make sure your metal go all the way and water like if you can see mine 
is what it is actually, you know, on that point. You can see right there. And then after that, I use the sandpaper to sand it down so they can have a smooth level for me to fit it feasible without this bouncing or not having a, you know, a flat face. So that's what you're going to be doing. And uh, as, as, as long as you got this thing face that way, yours is not going to break. So that's the purpose of this video. So if you got your mortgage broken like the first one, don't face it just the way that face mine in the first place. Otherwise, it might break on another point. Put a whole metal through it all the way to this point, and your uh, mortgage should be uh, good to go. Now, uh, a lot of people ask me, you know, uh, more questions about, you know, how do I fix, you know, the mortgage back? Uh, I explained in the video, you know, the steps that's going to be involved in taking the mortgage off and fixing it back. But for the purpose of this video, I don't like making too long videos because I know a lot of people don't have too much time, you know what I'm saying? So I want to keep the video short so you all can watch it and get information I'm passing across. But for the purpose of your questions, I'm going to be fixing this one, showing you what I'm going to be doing with this and putting this right back. So I'm just going to put a camera somewhere that I think you all can... Uh, you all can see what I'm doing and then that way you all can have your questions answered about how I'm going to be fixing this so for the time that I'm going to leave the camera right here and I'm going to go get one or two things I think I got some means call
Right, sorry about that, folks. I, I'm just trying to, uh, I got some messages coming on my other phone. Uh, it's literally about, you know, some of my other videos that I just have to respond to someone quick. Right, so uh, what's going to happen right now is uh, when I took my, my thing of the other time, the mug had off, you can see right inside here. Uh, because I was using the top screw uh, to open up the thing. So that thing I'm going to carry out, it got me the, the alarm keyboard right there. So it's kind of stuck, it's not coming. So what I did was I had to wiggle it out without damaging the hydraulic you know, hose. You got to be very careful with that because that is where your hydraulic fluid flow through. So whatever you do, you got to be sure that you don't put no tension on that. And you be careful whatever you take from that so you don't damage that. So I have to wiggle my, I have to, uh, you know, open up this a bit and wiggle it all the way out. So now I'm going to find a way to put it right there. Now the problem is, I got to find a place to put this camera because, um, I don't know without a camera. Let me put it this way. I think this, uh, I got to find a way to put a camera so you all can see what I'm doing. Uh, I don't have space and... From what I explained the other day, a lot of people, you know, keep asking the same question like, you know, uh, how did you do it? Is there any video to see how you do it? So that's why I'm trying to, you know, make some video today to show you all how I'm going to be doing that. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to leave this right here. As long as you can see what I'm doing, you can just follow what I'm doing and you should be able to, you know, do the same thing if you have the same problem or if anything happened to your mortgage in the process to fix it it's gonna be the same process it's just the camera is a big issue now I made a video actually you know in my in the first mortgage repairs I made a video uh, showing exactly what to do if you find yourself in that situation I I just think like you know people still keep asking me how to do it maybe they haven't watched that video but if you have watched that video uh before then you should know exactly what I'm talking about you know you don't have to worry about how this is going to be done I'm trying to see the camera on something right here so we can get to but I'm not getting a grip to face that so I don't know man I'm gonna try hard to say if I can get a grip or something anyway I'm just going to put this right here. Because with a camera, I need my two hands to work around. So with a camera, I, I will be able to do what I want to do.
that up and I'll find a bow so I'm gonna just pour this on the bows right here and see if we can get any images coming from that and that should be good. I used to be sleeping on these bows too. Think this all I can, you know. Uh, you all just have to bear with me because uh, I mean, doing these videos with one camera in the hand and doing the same thing is not easy. So uh, I'm just going away with this. And uh, some of these things, uh, really, uh, you don't need a word video to, you know, know how to do it because I already explained how this thing is done. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is um, this right here. This was meant to come out, but because the board is uh. A little bit like you know, if you put alarm key talk in, it just keep rolling. That means that you know the the holes that is too, is too big. You know, and that's my fault. I made it too big. So the alarm key uh has to be the small one. Let me find out just that one in a minute. Um, got this one here. Yeah, I got this one right here. So that just go in and spin. That doesn't have to be like that. It has to be like all this. Like you see, this one, it goes in. It doesn't spin. So it turns the boat. It has to be like this. But because the torque just pull this one. So there's no way to take it. There's a way to take this one out. Uh, that means that you're going to be putting something to hold this and use a plier to turn this, you know, anti-clockwise, not to open it. But I don't have time for that now. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to open this. But if you say you just bend this a little bit, then I'm gonna come here, just go first, you know, around that cable. Just keep going and be very careful. Take your time as much as you can because that hydraulic uh hose is very important, you know what I'm saying? So you're just gonna take your time very much and try as much as possible. If you need to bend this more, just bend it more. So I'll go this way to that side and I'm going to tie it then I'm going to come this way and then goes in then I'm going to go up a bit and turn it this way and then there we are so all we're trying to achieve is to make sure that you know uh, this hydraulic hose here needs to be in between that that's why when you unlock this or when you unscrew this, this free itself, just like the other one that used to be on the top here, then you can just literally just put a, you know, the cable. You just pull this around the cable and bend it, but we don't have that, so that's the only way. So the next step is you have to bend this. You have to bend this back. You have to bend this back and get it in shape. And to bend this back is easy. All you gotta do is put another bolt through that hole right there and into that and once you screw it's gonna pull this forward and that will come in shape but before you do that you have to set a bottom as well to the hose you see the holes there this need to sit on those holes so you set it up just like that it was like this so you set it up move it forward and put it there and with that because the holes are very, you know, far, you say. So if you're using the normal alarm key that I showed you before, you might be needing something else. I was using this because I can reach the bottom there, then I can screw it. And because I'm using the torque screwdriver, so that means that I just put it on, tighten both first with my hand, and once they get a grip on the thread, then I'm gonna use this to tighten it all up. You got four holes, you got one in that corner, I don't know if you can see, you go, you go one there, which is that one there, and you go another one just beside it, and the same with this one. You go one in that corner, which you can see, which is just right there, then you go another one. When you work from your own school, that you're going to be seeing it so easy. So that's the first thing we need to do. So those both are these ones. So you, when you're working with things like this, if you're not familiar with a boat, just take a piece of paper or, or, or insulation tape, you know, or the masking tape, right where which board you're taking out, and then, you know, just, you know, wrap it around it. So when you pick it in or that, maybe you can be like under boat, 
you ride at the Morgan underboat, then you put it in, you can be like the tall boat for the Morgan. You got four, there's three here, there's one already here. So you got this one, that one, and the one that goes to the other side. That's those three there. So you can write it that way so you don't get yourself confused. So I'm gonna put a camera right here again. And you all can see, I hope you all can see what I'm doing. So you just follow up the steps I'm doing. And you all should be able to face whatever is it that uh, you all going to be having. So the camera is perfect. So now what I'm going to do is, um, and always when you're working with this, make sure that your cables, you know, the ones that connect to this one, because you, ha you have to separate this cable, like I said in my other video, because this cable connect right from this light all the way into the control, uh, the, the actual control. So you need to make sure, and this cable need to sit in between a more guard and this guard, just like the way you do with a hydraulic fluid uh, thing. So you have to do the same with that one as well before you connect them. If you connect them outside, you can put it in, but sometimes if it's too short, you're gonna be having problems. So you put it in first, then later you connect and make sure this one, they can tight because there's no power flow in here. So when it tight, there's no problem. But this one here, you have to make sure they're not touching because they still have power. The battery is still on, even though the scooter is not on, the battery is on, so it's the power flowing through this. You don't want them to be touching. So you separate them and put them somewhere, you know, very nice. So now, first thing first, I'm gonna take this and put it to that. That's what I'm gonna be doing. I need to pull this. Um, this one right here needs to go in there and go in that because that's what we're gonna be scrubbing. And I'm gonna go right down here and be careful because it's good to use the one with magnet. This one hasn't go. If you go magnet one, this gonna be stick on it, it's not gonna drop. But if you're using this one, it's going to drop. So you have to be sure that if it's going to drop, it drops exactly where the hole is. So you don't have to strive because these bolts, when they get in between the frame and where the mortgage is sitting, it's very hard to tear them out because there's no hole for them to fall down. You have to turn the scooter all over. You have to turn it all the way uh, about, you know, 180 or whatever. You have to turn right. The, the, the back comes up. The top goes down for the boat to fall out. So... We set a mortgage in a position. And once you show the mortgage is set in position and be sure there's nothing on the way of it, then you put the first one. So you hold it with your hand and direct it and make sure it goes there. And once it goes there, just trying to turn it to see if that's going. So that look like it's going. Don't turn it too tight, just turn it a little bit loose so you can move this and set this one also. So you take the second one and do the corners first. So you take the second one in the same way. You move the mortgage until you can see the hole. Once you see the hole, put the second one in as well. Get it with your hand so it doesn't fall into that hole because it's very, very, you know, difficult to take out. So once it's there, try to see. If you can get it in, be sure that you got a hole before you leave your hand out of this because you don't want this falling out into that hole that's gonna make you do the same thing over again so that's in the hole now you turn a little bit that's in so we got a two side in it's not strong because you haven't put top on it yet so it's just what you're doing just to let it sit and once it sit in that's it you do the other one for that one too you see it in and once it sit in you leave it there and then what you do is you take the third one so because it's two on both sides so and this one is the one that close to that hole so guide it again with your finger put it in the hole make sure it's in the hole you turn it with your hand to make sure it goes in the hole and do the same thing you take another one guide it with your hand just go down there turn it and make sure that it goes in the hole so when all that is done, you know that it's in the hole now. You can use your top. If you have this, fine. If you don't have this, you can use a female and a male connector. You can find some of this way. You know, this side you see here is like this. It's removable. So you go one side, you can remove. You go another side, you can remove. So in this case, you put your torque, uh, a screw thing into the alarm key. 
Then you use another alarm key, which is gonna come in all shape in this. Then you just turn it, you just turn it like this, and then it will turn that one down. But I got it, the torque screw, so I'm gonna put in the torque here. So once I put in the torque, I set my screws to go clockwise. That's it to go clockwise. So I'm gonna put it on the first corner one here. And give it a small, no, don't just go too, uh, you know, crazy on it, just go small. Yep. That's it. Once you hear that, don't do it too much. Go on the other corner. Yep, that's it. Once you hear that, then you come to the next one. You do the same thing as well. Yep. Don't go. If you go crazy, you're going to damage. You're going to damage the holes just like that because this is going to create the holes. It's not going to get gripped. Then you have problem. Then you can't even lose the mogad out anymore. So... That's it. So once you do that, you can always, if you think your mortgage is having problem later, you can always adjust the mortgage. So don't worry about that. And another thing I'm going to say is, if you all go to the wall now, because the space between here and when your suspension, you know, compresses, when it compresses, it pushes the mortgage down a little bit. So what you, what you might have to be very careful is, you'd make sure that the, the play that they're going to put in under your mortgage is not too thick. You make sure it's not too thick to cause your tower start grabbing on that. And that's going to cause, like, you're trying to fix one plume and get another plume your tire getting wet because something is touching it. So you got to be very careful with that. So the next thing is going to be, we don't need a long torque, so you can take a long torque off. But you still need this one. So you take this one off, put it into your torque. Or if you have the alarm key, you can use that. And you come to the other side because now, you know, this is here. But to get a mogar in shape, you're gonna be have to uh, screw this one on that side, which I've already shown with the camera. You can see from that, the same thing there, you need to put a bolt. So you take your bolt right here, you put it in and try to turn it with your hand to go in the hole first. You turn it with your hand, now it's in the hole. So use your torque screw, go slow on it, not too crazy. Okay, okay. That's it. Once it catches, that's all you need. It's not gonna make any noise or make anything. That's it, that's in place. So this is your second one. And this, you know, sometimes, you know, when you're working on it, like you can see that I got some scratches on this one. And just for you to make it, you know, look, now you don't wanna pull this up, showing like this. That means that you're gonna have to spray the whole thing, you know what I'm saying? So the best way is try to turn this one down. When you turn it down, no one's going to see what's under. Then you have the fresh, nice area on this side. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to just put this one right here. So because you screw this, you're not going to have room here. So you need to wiggle in angle to get it in. And once you get it in, then you can put, you can put your boat in. And now you can see the scratched faces here. I don't want that. So I'm going to put one boat in. Trying to put another boat on the other side. And now this one thing I want you all to know, which I said already, but I'm gonna bring the camera to show you. You all have to be very careful. You see what I said before? That this electrical cable here, you need to make sure it needs to be in between the mall guard and this not outside this way. If it's outside this way, anything could just carry off because there's gonna be going under the mall guard. So it needs to be there. So now that you can see that I screw all this, already it means that i have to unscrew this to get it in but in this case i don't have to do that i just have to push it through this and wiggle it a little bit but the, the problem is if i do this and any of those metal or touches uh the wires touches each other that i'm going to be having problem which i don't want to have so wiggle it through like that and i just push pull it a bit and now you can see it's there. That's where you want to have it. You don't want to have it outside. You want to have it inside. So always remember, put it before you screw this. I screw my already, but I found a way to do it. But make sure you put it before. And separate the wires, as you can see. They are not touching. You got to separate all of them. All right. I'm going to put a camera back in. We're almost there with, a, with the actual mall guide. 
and with a connection it's not gonna be a problem even if you don't see the video or something of that one you can just imagine what's gonna happen next so I put my other screws on this side now is that the bolt so once I tighten the bolt I'm not gonna tighten it too tight then the scratch surface which I don't want to be showing I'm gonna be turning it so they will be on the down so no one can know that it's a scratch so I can still have my mugger looking nice even though it's been repaired so I'll go with the torque on one side slowly that's it you don't want to do it too much because you're going to damage this and I'll go on the other side that's it so now I know this is not going to turn and that's not going to turn and it's all in now go your cable you have to check after you pull that just make sure that you know you don't have anything on the way so you recheck your cables and see so the last job to do is to connect the wires which is this one so we're going to be connecting that and with that you need your insulation tape and you need your zip ties so let me just go have a look and see if i still have one here So the one I used last time, I still got it in here. This is the black insulation tape, good for electricity. They're very good conductor of heat, so that means that they're not gonna bend. They're gonna, they're gonna protect your thing. So, and these are the zip cables that you're using to tighten the, your cables under to the side of the mortgage. So that way they get protected from, you know, something, you know, maybe riding into the bush or something, some, strap or something just you know pull the cable out and tear off you don't want that so what you do is you get your insulation a tape ready the wires are here and they all got colors so the green goes with green you put it on you make sure that it's on well then you turn it clockwise so you turn it clockwise so that's what i'm gonna do now then it clockwise all the way. When you're done clockwise, just bend a little bit forward. Like this. one is tight, then get your insulation tape. At this point, you don't need too much. So, you can cut just a little bit like this and put it on that. So that way, is protected from touching the other ones. Yeah. You put it on that and go all around it. Go to the left. Don't just do it in the middle. Just roll it a bit to the left and roll it a bit to the right. So that way this doesn't move because and when you do you put a little tension in. So that way it doesn't move because if you do it loose what will happen is the insulation tape can move you know on the actual coating of the wire so we did first one this is how you want you want to have it when you do it it should be looking like this and you make sure it's tight so you got your tape ready and then you go to the next one it's easy all you gotta follow the, the color code so next one is red to red so i look for red And made the wires ready don't let them split up in single put them together and then put the one on top like this and you go again you turn clockwise until all the wires are turned well don't make it loose then you bend it over on that again reach for your insulation tape cut a little bit and then put it on again the same way start from one end with a bit of tension pressing it pulling it and way to the other end it's not too easy to do and it's not too difficult you know what i'm saying you just gotta pull yourself in and 
keep focus on it, then you can do it well. Right. So now we got two cable all the way. We got two more to go. So the next one is you prepare your installation tape down. That's just that much I'm taking. I'm not taking too much. You can take as much as you want. As long as you got time to do it, that's good. So you reach for the yellow so and if the the cable sends because of the work they've done on this, I think when they painting it, they put a little bit of paint on that. We don't want that. Pay me want some clear transmission of power through the cable. So you can use a knife just to clean the top a little bit to make it be shiny. So that way you can get good conductivity of heat or energy, you know, through that. Again, you prepare the wires and make sure they're not too, you know, separate it. Again, you put it on and you go. Again, put it on and be sure it's tight. Then you go clockwise. It's not a matter of going clockwise or anti-clockwise. You, know, you can go this way or you can go that way. Whichever you prefer, whichever you think is more comfortable for you. You do that. You cut your insulation tape as usual. And then you go right to where it is. The more you put them together, the more it's going to be difficult to rotate your tape in between them because it's not space anymore. But it's just going to be very gentle and, and, and careful with it and just keep going and you should be okay with it right so now we got three of them you know all in you can see we got three here we got one more left so the same way I will say it's always good to keep them straight don't let the, the wires you know wiggle you know like one coming from that another one just keep them straight so that way it's easy if you need to do any other way because after fixing this suppose that something is wrong you have to take this wire up to check what's wrong so you want to make sure that you don't create more work for yourself so next one is going to be we prepare the tape down again and we're going on to what black to black Again, you turn it clockwise, turn it all the way and make sure. And if you watch my other video, you know why these wires are cut is because to get a more guard out, you have to make sure that there's no power flowing that otherwise your battery is going to be, you know, uh, either damaged or blown up by the high current that the welding machine is going to uh, produced through the morgue during welding because they have to put some metal thing on it just to have some sort of conductivity and then they put a the actual electrical welding power to, to weld it so when they doing that even with cars they always take the battery terminals off or the battery off completely because it might end up damaging your battery if you have good electrical wiring system on a on a actual thing or you might end up actually blowing the whole thing so in this case, in the other video, if you watch carefully, I had to cut this wire. I had I have to cut it myself in a point where I think I can assess. So that way I can separate the mortgage from the actual uh, battery or the actual controller without taking the, the deck off and going all the way in. Because take the deck off and all that is a big job. So if there's na any other way you can do it without, you know, getting too big on that, that would be advisable to do that. So now that we tape all the wires and everything is fine, the next thing we're going to be doing is try the scooter to see if it works. And before you do that, put your hand through to see the tires are not touching anything. That mortgage now is in place. So all we're going to have to do now is to put the scooter on. 
which I'm doing on the scooter is on now. And then we see if the brake is working, brake is working. That's everything is nice then. Uh, you can lean it, you know, just towards you a little bit and make sure you put on a single drive. Unless you're gonna be putting on something, just put on a single drive. So when it's on single drive, then try to see if anything can turn. Right. 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 So we can see that everything went perfectly. So the next step will be you can leave your cables like this, putting them under the mugger now. Now you have to go around with the insulation. Now that all the cables are insulated, we know even when, when they touch each other, they naturally, the wires are naturally touching. But we'll have to go now with our insulation tape. This time with a whole tape, and we go around to bound this, these wires together. As a, a whole unit, just like the way it used to be when they were in the, in the actual coating. So, with that one is good. You just have to put the insulation tape on it and keep moving it around and you just bind all of them together. And you can do it, you know, a few rounds. So that way, you know that you got a lot of coating on that in case if anything happened, a tire is, you know, maybe grinding or something, it doesn't really like, you know, affect the wires. So, we do a few more. Go that way. Go all the way in. Go all the way in right there. And then we do it all the way back. Just to make sure that we have uh, as much as we can. So in any case of the tire, you know, start maybe touching this cable because of you, you know, riding into some bumpy road and the shorts keeps working so hard or for whatever reason the tire will be grinding on the insulation or tape that you're putting on not the actual wire so we do it like that move all the way just like that Okay, what you want to do is don't pull this too much, let it, let the tape actually pull itself so that way it's really tight. Now that we go to that, so that thing is now you can just lay one, cut one off, and make it look nice. Go to the other side and make it look nice. So now the whole thing, you know, becomes one. So all your cables are there. You can try it again to be sure that after tightening that, nothing happened. So again, you put your scooter on. Yeah, you can see that the brake is working. So that means everything is fine. So you put it back. And now we need a zip tie. So now we have to put this under the mugger. Just I don't want to be moving the camera. So what I'm doing is this cable that we see that run from here is going to be on this side. So you need to put it under. And they've created some hole from the factory. You put your zip tie in and zip tie it perfectly and then cut it. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put this under from here. It's under from here. So the first thing I'm going to do is put the zip tie. And the zip tie, you want to do it to hide it. You want to hide it so it's not actually showing just on the top like this. So I'm going to do it from under. I'm going to do it from under like this. So put it through the small hole. Yeah, as you can see. If the hole is very tight, then I think the zip tie, the one I got here, is a bit, a little bit thicker. So you need to get a small one. So 
Sebetika. So what I do is that I just use the plier just to make it easy for me. I use the plier to pull this up. Uh, but that's not that that's that's too tight. That's what I said. So you need a smaller zip tie more than this. I just got this because when I went to the shop the other day, I don't have time and uh that's the sort of you got. So I just picked that one and I'm liking what we did, but if you're gonna be doing it and you want a video, get a zip tie that you think that can pass through the hole because the holes are quite very small. So just do that. And when I do that, I need to hold my mugger. So the zip tie doesn't the pressure I'm putting doesn't actually spoil the mugger. Okay. So we got this. broken again so that's not good so what I'm gonna do is um I can get a smaller zip tie you know because this is too thick for the hole that is created there they use a small one but I used the same one last time so it's not gonna be a problem so I just to cut the video short what's gonna happen is you know I put uh, the cables on already the cables are here I put them under, so that's one hole there, I'm zip tie the cable there, another one there, another one is somewhere under there, and then it's all done. So, you can see from now, your mall got this back in business, and it look as if like nothing happened to it, so, that's the purpose of this video. So, when you all have problem with this, you just have to follow the steps, at least in this video, and get your scooter working again. So I'm gonna let y'all go now. I'm gonna go down and get a small zip tie. Just zip tie that one. And then we're back on the road. I've made all the tests. You can see already the light is working. The motor is turning. So that means a problem is solved. So I hope my videos help all y'all. When you watch my video, just watch all the way to the end because there's so many points that you might pick for, from the video to help yourself. So give a thumb up to my video, subscribe to my channel, encourage other people to subscribe to my channel. Uh, let your friends watch my videos. So those people want to buy a scooter, those people have scooter already have a problem. They can use my video to solve their problem instead of uh, spending a lot of money getting replacement and all that. So shout out to all y'all for watching my video as well. And until I make another video, y'all have a good day and peace.